rugs. Good morning. Oh, sorry, my stick is just swinging my camera around all which ways. Good morning, courageous moms. Today I am I'm excited to just have a day at home. Do you ever feel that way? I have had the craziest week. Um, well, actually, it's been life is always like this, right? I mean, for those of you who, um, you know, life can get busy, and sometimes it's not in our plan to be busy, and we have to make a purpose to find times of rest. But I just wanted to connect with you because a lot of times when I sneak away to shoot a quick Facebook Live video, I try to really show what real life is like here at the Tolpen House so that you know that you're not the only one that has dishes in your sink, right? So here we are. This is a Thursday morning, right? This is Thursday morning. And we're still getting caught up. We um, have routines around here where people help with chores or jurisdictions and responsibilities. Um, but I put myself into that rotation as well just so that I am challenged in having a good heart attitude towards serving as well um, and can model that for my kids. Um, dishes are one of those things that I actually don't enjoy doing. I haven't enjoyed doing them for a really long time. Um, well, I should say I used to not enjoy doing dishes. And then I started asking the Lord to change my heart towards even things like dishes um, so that I could model for my kids that in the midst of any role or job that you have or jurisdiction, there's always going to be a few things that are less desirable, right? Like cleaning the toilets doing the dishes for me is those are two things that I don't enjoy doing very much but we need to do them and our kids are going to come across times when they need to do those things too right so we need a model for them having a joyful heart attitude and serving so that they also have a joyful heart attitude we don't want to be hypocrites in that and so um, anyways that's actually off topic of why I was getting on here I wanted to share with you that concept of when you are stressed out when you've had a lot of things going on in your life and your life may be a little bit crazy and chaotic. I don't know if you've ever felt that way before. How do you still have joy in your home and still create an atmosphere of peace and um, one where the Holy Spirit is invited and your kids enjoy being and choose to not have that stressful atmosphere that can so often sneak in the back right? Well, for us, this last week was crazy. I went to Portland with five of my kids and got to see my sister graduate from college. Really excited for her and connect with my brother and my niece and nephew and my mom and dad. But then traveling home was kind of crazy because graduation was on Sunday. And so we didn't get home until like 1230 at night. And I had one sick kid that was vomiting and not feeling well. And then Monday morning at 715 we had to leave here to get um, my two oldest kids to a homeschool practicum that they were volunteering to work with um, other mom's kids and run those camps those history camps and stuff like that and that was Monday Tuesday Wednesday from 730 to 4 o'clock each day this week and so I am just exhausted I don't know if you can see I have a suitcase and cot behind me this is our entryway this is from Sunday night I still have not unpacked and been able to do that laundry and um, because we've just been going and going and going and trying to get people well um, trying to launch my new site which is exciting because courageousmom.com is up and it's live so you gotta head over there and check it out and tell me what you think um, I have it right here actually if you want to see it I don't know if you can see it with the screen but we have some featured posts right there and I have a welcome video that kind of, if you click on this one or you, this is the, the blog post that I wrote about it. And I have a short video sharing with you the mission of Courageous Mom and why Courageous Mom. And um, I just cover a few scriptures that I really felt like the Lord was impressing. Hi, Sherry. It's good to see you um, upon my heart to share with you guys. And so I hope that's encouraging. But in the midst of all these things that are going on, whirling around, right? 
We've got stresses, we've got kids that have to be places and we can become taxi cab moms. We've got kids to feed, we've got laundry to do, we've got dishes to do. For those of us who are still homeschooling, we've got to keep that schedule going and stay consistent. How do you do that? How do you have joy in the midst of it? I don't know if you can hear this in the background, but this is just one tip. I'm going to give you two today. One tip is to force yourself to have worshipful music. You have worshipful music in the home. For me, it's not something I have to force. I love having this on, but what I mean is force yourself to have a joyful heart attitude because when I listen to these words, even if I'm feeling stressed out, if there's worship music playing, I'm reminded that I need to stop. I'm reminded what's really important. I'm reminded to not make a big deal out of things that are not eternal. I'm reminded of what life is really about and it just it's convicting like in that moment if I am in the midst of dealing with conflict with a child or a couple children or if someone is not being respectful or if they're being disobedient or something like that I have the music playing and it reminds me to stop for a minute and breathe and to teach them the things that God is laying on my heart, even regarding some of the lyrics, they're just beautiful. So if you can have worship music playing in the background to keep your focus on Jesus throughout the day, that is one way to keep the stress down. Another way, and I just kind of always, an older mom told me this when I had um, five kids, seven and under. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, right? So I had five children, they were seven, three, 18 months, um, and like four months old, and then I was pregnant, and oh, it was it was kind of crazy in our household. Um, and some of that's still kind of a fog, I'm going back and reading my journals. But in the midst of that, I kept the worship music playing, and another mom told me that a great suggestion is to always have your Bible out. Just have it out on the counter or on a desk, somewhere where you can just go to it anytime. And so a verse that I was reading this morning, right um, before I got in the shower so I could kind of think on it and meditate on it, I just pulled out the Psalms and I was, I'm, I'm actually going through Psalms right now and I'm reading Psalm 19, verse seven. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. And I, I just am thinking about that. You know, a lot of times, some of our tasks as moms are pretty simple, right? Um, raising kids by no means is one of those <laughs> as we're dealing with hearts and all of that kind of stuff. But, you know, doing laundry, like we can check it off our list. It's pretty simple. And we have to remember that the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. And we may seem like we're simple people or ordinary people. I share with you in the mission of Courageous Mom that for a really long time I struggled with my identity and feeling like I was just so ordinary. I actually used to call myself Average Angie. And it wasn't that I wasn't um, good at things. I was really good at many things. I just didn't feel like I excelled at anything and I was ordinary. And it wasn't until I realized that God had a unique purpose and unique calling on my life and part of that was my mission as a mom and being a missionary right here in my home and how valuable that really is and that God called ordinary men to follow him and they became his 12 disciples and so if you're feeling like you're unseen or you're underappreciated undervalued and maybe you're simple-minded or you just are in a season where you feel lost in some ways, I want to encourage you that God sees you and He loves you and He has a unique purpose for you. And as far as motherhood goes, don't ever forget that He chose you to be the mom of your children and that He puts you on this huge mission 
with those kids to raise the next generation to love him, to be kingdom focused. And that is not a simple task, but God has everything in his word to nourish you and to give you what you need to raise them and be on the path that he's designed for them. So when we're in the midst of the stressed out day, put on some worship music and make sure that you just read a couple words from the Lord and be revived. All right, you guys have a great day. I'm praying for you as I'm praying for myself. Bye.